Hello and welcome to another episode of Laptop Retrospective and today I want to share with you this thing. It's not an oversized USB drive because that's HDMI staring us in the face. This is actually one of the first generation Intel Compute Sticks or Compute Stick. I always want to blend the two of those together. Anyway, other than a convenient place to locate much information and barcodes, what this essentially is is what they call a stick computer. They claim that the idea is that this is supposed to be the size of a pack of gum and be a basic computer, and they were mostly, when these were coming out in around 2015, targeting those people that were beginning to set up media centers in their home entertainment systems or wanted something portable. If you were doing a lot of traveling and say you had that TV in the hotel room, you could stick this in and you would have yourself uh, a computer, more or less. Uh, however, they didn't really catch on in the way that I think a lot of people were hoping. And today in this video, we're going to dissect one of the reasons, or many of the reasons that I suggest, uh, that this was not as successful as it could have been. So let's get right to that. So, first thing, let's talk about the size of this actual unit. So, not including the actual uh, HDMI end, it's about 103 millimeters long. It's approximately uh, 37 or 38 millimeters wide and a whopping 12.56 or 12 and a half millimeters thick. They say it's about the size of a pack of gum. That's one weird shaped pack of gum, if I'm honest with you. Uh, other than that, inside it's sporting, at least in this model, in this edition, a Atom Z3735F with one gig of RAM and an eight gigabyte onboard storage. If you want more storage, you're either gonna have to plug in a USB drive or you are going to need a micro SD card. And that's how I would really be suggesting that you're loading stuff on this because you need that eight gigs for your operating system and any program that you hope to run. I hesitate to say programs because eight gigabytes for an operating system is pretty thin. Speaking of operating systems, this came in two flavors when it was released. It either came uh, with Windows 8.1, 32-bit only, or Ubuntu 1404 LTS, and that was available in 64-bit. A couple of other things is that this particular model came out in the second quarter of 2015, and the only ports that it has on it is a slot for a micro SD card, and then on this side we have the power button, our power input, and then, of course, USB 2.0 only, which is slightly disappointing, but understandable when you see what little you've got to work with. So let's talk about uh, the internals just a little bit more. The Wi-Fi and Bluetooth 4.0 both are on the same card, and this actually creates a couple of problems according to the owner of this unit. Uh, if you have Bluetooth devices hooked up to it, which realistically, with one USB port, uh, something that you use is going to have to be Bluetooth, or you're going to have to sacrifice some connectivity and, say, use a universal receiver for a mouse and keyboard, but then you're not using uh, thumb drives or anything else. So it's all about trade-offs, and trade-offs that you might not be willing to make, even for this form factor. Other than the Wi-Fi card uh, underperforming if the Bluetooth is enabled, uh, what the original owner of this has done is they've actually used an external Wi-Fi adapter and uh, don't use the internal one, which is good because I couldn't get the internal Wi-Fi components to work. Uh, Bluetooth did work, sort of, um, but even then it wasn't an amazing experience. And that's really how I would describe this thing, is it feels very much like a prototype. Um, even though it has the functionality on paper, in practicality, it really leaves you wanting. The only instances that I could think that this would be an excellent solution is if you literally were traveling, you did not have a laptop, and you wanted to use or watch something off of an SD card or maybe work on a document. Um, I don't see this being a very popular choice for like home theaters or media centers because it just doesn't have the oomph, and it doesn't necessarily, in my mind, have the stability. Um, the other thing, too, of course, is that if this is hanging out of your TV, you need a way to power it, and that means that you'll either need USB uh, on the TV to use that power port, 
or you will need to plug it into a wall outlet and then it needs to plug into the wall anyway. And at that point, you know, there are other solutions. You can get smaller form factor PCs that are uh, leaps and bounds ab above this thing in every conceivable way. And I think that this is one of the reasons why these things don't sell terribly well. There was also a lot of uh, information about these being ready to go right out of the box. Uh, people were buying them without the OS installed, or they were buying it with Ubuntu on it, and they didn't really know what to do with it, and that received a lot of backlash. In fact, if you go and read through some of the comments on a few of these devices, uh, you'll see that to be a prominent complaint, is that it wasn't really marketed clearly which came with what. And a lot of people felt that if these compute sticks did not come with Windows, uh, then it wasn't really worth it at all. If, but if you think about how much the license is and how much these cost, um, they were pretty much losing money uh, producing these in a lot of ways. Uh, at any rate, other than this thing getting super hot when it's plugged in to the point of you know questionable durability, it's quite clear that this idea was designed to be portable, but I don't really know for who. And I'm really curious to know if you could come up with some use case scenarios that this sort of product would really meet that a laptop couldn't do, or a media center couldn't do, or a small form factor PC couldn't do. If you have any of those ideas, I'd love to hear uh, from you in the comment section down below, because I'm genuinely curious. With that being said, I think these are an interesting kind of piece of history, but you don't see a lot of companies uh, mass marketing and mass producing these things anymore. And I think it's because what they tried to do initially with the form factor and the parts just wasn't up to consumer demands. If you're going to have something portable uh, like this that isn't a laptop and you need to haul around the power cord, the keyboard, the mouse, it doesn't become as portable anymore, right? If you have to carry all these components with you, you might be better off buying, say, like a ThinkPad X220 or... Uh, something that would take up just as much space as all of that stuff in your backpack. At any rate, I hope that you took, uh, enjoyed a quick look at this piece of hardware. I found it rather interesting to play with. I don't necessarily know if I would want to use it, and if I did, I would stuff that SD card full of uh, movies and TV shows and music, things I could enjoy offline, and then I would maybe stuff it into a TV or something, and that might be the end of it. At any rate... If you uh, did enjoy the content, I would encourage you to uh, like, uh, maybe even share the video. Uh, subscribe is a huge uh, and awesome commitment that I would certainly appreciate. And if you do subscribe and want to be or notified, notified of any new uploads, make sure you're also hitting that notification bell as well. Thank you very much, and I will see you next time.